can't hear us. No, There's really can't. no show. <laughs> yeah, they, we don't know if I, they might I, actually put us to work or something. Well, okay. Okay, here we go. All right, well, very good, buddy. Oh, wait, somebody okay. took down the, the Christmas decorations. Oh, yeah, it's a I, quake. Didn't, I didn't. <laughs> Quicker than Walmart, Jack. I tell you, buddy. What the heck? I, I know, man. I didn't do it. So. <laughs> yeah, well, I, didn't, I didn't put no, those up. Much, I didn't put them up, so it's not my responsibility. That's too much work, yeah, Bullet. Exactly. You know, that's too much work. And Bullet, uh, uh, and uh, now you gotta tell me before we go live. I think this is uh, for my cowboy. This, is, please tell me, this is a Texas flag. Oh my, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Is it either okay. that or it's, it's, it's a Puerto it's Rican? It's close enough. Yeah, well, close enough. They're right there. They, they might, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. No, it's uh, so, kind of racist, yeah. but that's okay. <laughs> I was kind of racist, but that's okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it's like Puerto Rico. I don't know. I mean, Our fans can uh, write I'm pretty, I'm pretty but, sure it's Texas. Uh, anyway, yeah, out of, out of uh, excitement for my Cowboys, I think I've got a flag, uh, a Texas flag. Uh, but uh, you sure. going to throw it and pick it up? <laughs> oh, I know. Boy. Oh, I, <laughs> well, yeah, it we, yeah, it was a penalty, but who cares? Get a life. It's over, okay? We need one. Okay. Yeah. A lot of heat over that, boy. I know. Uh, but it was definitely guilty. But anyway. <laughs> I love it. Just pick it up. It's all work. <laughs> Everybody's getting so mad. It's all work anyway. So, so just do it again. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't like that finish. Then, you guys do it again. Then they're talking about the, the, the refs. They got pictures of the refs on Jerry Jones's party bus. I, I bet the Jerry Jones party bus is way better than the Trent Lyons bus. <laughs> yeah. I'd be on you, that bus. bus too. Who wouldn't have been on that bus? I'm I mean, trying to get on, on that bus. Come, come on. Tell me about it, boy. Everybody. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sure Who does Bob Goggle want in the championship match? The Lions or the Cowboys? I mean, please. You know, and early in the season when Bob Goggle and all of them sat around that big booking meeting and said, okay, we're going to do this at the end of the year, you got. That's yeah, Coco Beware versus Rick Flair <laughs> would be nice and all, but I mean, really, people paid for Bill Dundee. That's exactly Flair, right. So. That's exactly right. That's what's going to sell tickets. Okay. okay. Here we go. That's a good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the mission of Dad, you don't work, yes. you wrestle. You hear the claps, you know what time it is, George, how was your week? Boy, unbelievable, I am so happy right now, of course, right before we went on the air, we had a lot of uncut version stuff that we made. Uh, we Director's made. cut. <laughs> There'll be no voiceover There'll on this There'll be no one. voiceovers or nothing, yes. which you can't tell the difference between that and our regular show, but anyway, boy, I'm in a great, great mood, things are just so, so good, of course, that's probably going to end once we start training, but that's beside the point. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm in a very good mood, boy, I'm in a ride Night, high cloud nine uh, Dallas Cowboys have won their first playoff game as long as I can remember they've been they, a uh, it has been a long long time, long and, time. and I'm gonna tell you I'm just uh, excited about that I almost left during that game of course when uh, our lineman picked up that fumble and instead of falling on it he thought he was gonna run and then he fumbled mm -hmm. bullet but a big work of course who comes back at the very end to redeem himself with getting the sack on the Lions quarterback was the exact same guy. But I ain't saying it's a work. But anyway, I'm happy. Uh, Dallas Cowboys, they will go to Green Bay this week, mm -hmm. Bullet, and that's always Classic tough there. Yep. Classic. But uh, what I thought was cool, uh, Bullet, is uh, this past week they showed a coach on the sidelines, and his last name was Lombardi, a young guy. And I just kind of – I thought it was neat that that name is still associated. People are going to think I'm nuts, but uh, when I did a little bit of research – uh, bullet. He's actually the grand, uh, uh, grand, grand, grandson or something. He's kin to Vince Lombardi. So anyway, I don't even know why I added that. I just thought it was neat that that connection is is still there. Okay. Yep. But anyway, Cowboys play this week. One o'clock. Bullet. It's going to be an exciting time. I know, of course, the Panthers too, and all that kind of yeah, mess. Yeah, that, that's excitement too. Like I said, the, the the teams that people have talked the most crap about that's all exactly year long, right. and probably the two. Quarterbacks that most people have trashed on, at least on my Facebook. <laughs> Tony Romo, Tony Holy Romo cow. and Cam Newton both uh, moving on in the playoffs. I mean, I'm happy for it all. It's just a good time, especially here in the Carolinas, boy. You know, just the, the Panthers because they were like uh, rode off early, very, yep. very. Uh, 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 George Southbury Harbors people ask, early on. People uh, asking for the death of Cam Newton. Yes. People happy when his car Giving flipped over. Giving their tickets back, about like that story I told you where the Braves, remember I told you when we used to work for uh, uh, Ted Turner, they used to give us tickets to the Braves and nobody wanted them. Ain't that amazing? But at least they'd be in your check. Mm -hmm. uh, but you try to give them away because nobody wanted them. But now that's all changed. And, and of course, the Panthers is just, I'm happy for yeah, all of them. So, and, as a couple of guys that get dogged a lot, it's sure nice seeing somebody get yeah. dogged a lot and <laughs> shoving into people's face. Oh, very kind true. Of, kind of very Appreciate that. Very true. And all I'm saying is we put out a filler last week about we would be glad to do some job matches for that new team in WWF. And what happened this they week? Put, well, put, we, well, must put, have, we must they, have missed the memo. They actually but, they actually put job guy matches out. They taped them 
while we were taping our show. So, oh, okay. So we were on the same wavelength because they did SmackDown and that's taped on a Tuesday. So they, they, they taped a Job Guy match and then they put one on Raw. Oh, so oh, they at oh. least got the memo there. They, they, yeah. They're paying attention. You know, way. and we could talk a whole program on that. The poor guys just, they, they they want a break. They're just trying to make everybody happy and then, oh my gosh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Got, I wouldn't want to be in there and boy shoes for nothing. I wouldn't either. Dang. I wouldn't either. I mean, could, could just have them beat up those Job Guys so they can do a little more TV time <laughs> instead of give them a microphone. Let them beat up the Job guys oh, oh. let them do some cool cool moves oh, on them man, and man. then you know, give those job guys some some tv time that's exactly right that's, and that's how i feel about let it let the job guys do the interview that those guys are doing yeah and boy. those guys beat them up <laughs> i love that boy <laughs> man, i wouldn't want to do it everybody say i want to break i want to break i want to get my chance but buddy that's one time i don't I, you can't win in that situation yeah and all the heat and all the heat goes to them but how many times has WWE like trashed the Road Warriors? Exactly. They trashed them when they were around, calling Hawk yeah. an alcoholic. Yeah, they and sure then, did. And then, Made fun of it. Yep. And, and then when, when Hawk passed away and Animal was still with the company, they were poking fun at Animal. Yeah, exactly. When he, when he was part of the company with yeah. uh, Eminem, they did that. And now we do it again. So, well, so boy, I'm under the impression that, that, that it's <laughs> WWE doesn't like. I, yeah, I don't the think WWE. Well, see what's so amazing, boy, it, the, the final decision will come down to the fans like it should, like all of it. You know, boy. Yeah. The fans, the true fans that love the Road Wars, are always going to love the Road Wars. I love the Road Wars. I, I love all of Animal and Hulk. Your team essentially loves the Road Wars. Oh, yeah, exactly. And, and I'm telling you, it's just, uh, I just think it's neat because stuff that, here's what I think is so neat, and then we'll move on. Everything WWE sits around a board meeting table and tries to plan for it to get publicity never does. You know what I'm saying? Everything that they put a lot of money into it, the very Lex Express comes to mind, stuff that they really, really, really want people to talk about, they don't talk about. Bullets. Does that yeah. make sense? And then Absolutely. something that they don't, they just think ain't going to make a big deal, and I, I just think that's so neat. Uh, very workish, just like football. Yeah. But anyway, Bullet had a great, great week, got a lot of stuff coming up, Bullet, this weekend, big, big time, right back here to the Carolinas. Of course, Friday night, we will be in Morganton. Uh, Bullet, big, big show, yep. big time wrestling. We'll be there. I'm going to round up all the Dungeon of Doom I can find. Please. Uh, Bullet there. And, of course, we'll be there Friday in Morganton. Uh, Ste uh, Ricky Steamboat's going to be a big, big, big card there. I always love spending time with Ricky Steamboat. Then Saturday, uh, Pro Wrestling returns to the Memorial Auditorium in Spartanburg. Mm -hmm. uh, last time, uh, as a lot of the fans knew, that that place was sold out. Had Nature Boy there. This one's a big, big show. I think Barry Windham's going to be there. Yeah. Uh, steamboats there again, uh, of course, rock and roll. I'll be down there. Uh, I'll be down there setting up the ring, and then I'll be boycotting the South Carolina Athletic Commission <laughs> outside during the show. Oh, I love that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. where I will be at. I'll get myself a nice piece of white poster board. Oh, Maybe I love draw that. a race board because there's not enough room <laughs> so on a poster board. So I can keep switching it out. Oh, I love that, boy. Because so. so, if you use the uh, poster board, uh, loading may get me. Yeah, yeah, I'll just use uh, a dry erase board. You can't steal that. You can't, you can't do that or welcome to the jungle. Yeah. But uh, uh, just an exciting time. So we'll, we'll, Sunny and Cher is going to hook up this weekend. Yeah, I'll be bullet, all, all and, those uh, shows. I'll be there. Uh, that's going to be great. So anyway, uh, we invite everybody down Friday night. It'll be in Morganton. Big, big show. Just a little taste of the way wrestling used to be. Uh, Spartanburg last time was sold out. Folks, you need to get there early. It's Which just the, a, on their uh, Facebook page, they have a big panoramic uh, picture of the last show they did in Spartanburg, and you're in the middle of the ring. Oh, oh, so oh, boy! It, it's 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 quite oh. a good picture. You should take. A oh, look I at love it. that, so. uh, boy! And of course, my uh, forty-year feud with the Boogie Woogie Man Jimmy Valiant will continue. This weekend, uh, which I ha I want that. Uh, believe me, I'm be mm -hmm. very excited about that. Uh, uh, anyway, no, 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 no reruns of Russell Cage. What I'm saying, Bullet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, I, I ain't taking nobody's finish. Well, That's I, all I'm saying. I'm, I'm pretty sure if, if, if Jimmy Valen has ever said the word T-bone, <laughs> suplex has never come right out. No. So. Remember, Boogie always used to tell me that with Barbarian and Ming, he had an agreement. Uh, Boogie wouldn't suplex them, and they wouldn't suplex him. So I kind of like that agreement. So yeah. anyway, we invite everybody down. Bullet got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, New Year's kicked off. Getting ready to train here. Uh, got a very special guest trainer, uh, and we may get rid of a few people tonight. <laughs> which is, uh, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. You got to bring. In, sometimes you got to bring in Billy Jack Haynes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Bullet. <laughs> you, you have to go find him. And bring it. Now he's over okay. with Nelson Royal buying some new skates, <laughs> snakeskin boots. Oh you my bring gosh. Him over to the oh, barn. times have changed. You gotta bring them over to the barn. Oh my gosh, well, five, they bought five pair a piece of rattlesnake boots. They were five hundred I'll never forget that as long as I live. I, I just knew then. Oh my gosh. I remember me uh, Charlie Dreamer heard that story like, man, we should get some rattles we should get some. Oh man, yeah, that, back in the day boots. those were the things. Boy. And, and, and oh. we went to go go buy some, we saw how much they were and we walked right out. <laughs> 
<laughs> with no 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 boots. <laughs> John Drew was saying, we need to fight skiing. Now he right? found those. He oh. found some at a Goodwill. Oh, he's wow. got some nice pair. Man, man I'll never forget that. Rock and roll and, and boots. I can't say. Bought five pair of rattlesnake boots, 500 bucks a piece, and paid cash. Unbelievable bullets. So anyway, uh, just time sure have changed. But anyway, uh, but with all that being said, we do have... A very special idiot of the week, boy. And I know uh, I love your comments on this, uh, and 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 you throw your uh, uh, your viewpoint in here. Of course, nice. everybody knows it's it's uh, baseball season's no more. But I'm a big baseball fan, boy. And everybody knows that the big Hall of Fame come back up, boy. Mm -hmm. And and they announced all the contestants. And and I tell you, folks, I'm uh, not that I'm getting serious here for a minute, but I want to put the whole uh, Hall of Fame organization because. Okay. They, because Pete Rose did not make it again. I know, I know, I'm starting World War III here, Bullet, but dang! They ought to get Pete Rose in just because his slides he used to do, Bullet. So, what I'm doing here today, because we can do anything we want on our mm -hmm. show because nobody watches anyway, is I'm going to put the whole Hall of Fame league for looking over uh, my favorite Pete Rose. Okay? So, I'm putting the whole Hall, Baseball Hall of Fame, which we can do, yes, Bullet. Yes, we can do. Uh, uh, the idiots were running wild in wrestling, too. But uh, I wanted to point out Hall of Fame, the whole organization of the Hall of Fame for one reason, uh, ignoring Pete Rose again. I don't know if he'll ever get in. Probably not, and I'll tell you why. I've actually learned. Uh, I've been watching oh, a lot of sports. I've been watching a lot of sports oh, documentaries. Very I, 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 I Judge Judy. Right I, I've, here, been, I've been trying to hold back. I could have gave you the whole history of the Cowboys, <laughs> Packers, but I'll give you the whole history of, of Pete Rose. Uh, you know, baseball Hall of Fame is the only Hall of Fame that's voted on by the writers. And, and because of Pete Rose, when he, all those allegations of the betting came out, he, right. lied, he lied and said, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah. I did not bet on baseball. I did not bet on baseball. And then he finally said, yes, I did. And he did that to promote his book. Yeah. I think that turned off a lot of the sports writers. Yeah, that's true. Too. And that's probably going to be the thing that he, he he lied to the fans and he lied to the media. Yeah. And, and that's something that, you know, you've, we've learned as wrestlers that you, you can't do that. That's exactly you can't, right. You can't lie to your fans. You can't lie to your fan base. You can't lie to the media. When you screw up, you make a mistake, you admit it. But yeah. because he denied it so vehemently for, for, so for long, years, for so yeah. long, and yeah, the only time right. he came out was to sell some books, that's, that's, that's a tough Tough hump to get over. Yeah. Now, as far as baseball quality, I mean, he's all day, every day. The NFL Network still recognizes O.J. Simpson. Yeah, yeah that's so, very true. So, I mean, he killed somebody. Yeah, two people. That, that, that's very true. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Now. People think they're watching CSI right now, Bullet. But you, uh, you know, I hope you saw that murder. Yeah, they, uh, they still recognize him, but yet baseball ignores Pete Rose. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's, that's a just, very good point. That, that's just the difference between the two leagues and the way it is and just the... You're, you're right. The way he played played baseball it deserves to be in there, but unfortunately, yeah. there's a lot of people that will, that will work just twice as hard to keep him out. That's exactly right. That's very so, true. So but uh, he's, in the, uh, he's in the wrestling hall of fame, though. Oh, yeah, I know that. Oh, I forgot about that bullet. So, uh, so uh, what we agree on here at Dad, you don't work your wrestling television is. Uh, people can almost forgive the the gambling, maybe. I'm just saying. Yeah. In a because there are notorious because there are people that have gambled on baseball. Yes. They they are actually in the hall of fame. Right. So but it's uh, but I agree the the line part and it kind of was during the time when they, his book come out you, and, and you can all forgive that somebody when they own up but when they when they lie about it for close to a decade yeah. it's very hard yeah exactly so anyway uh, uh, boy thank you so much uh, maybe we'll we'll keep we'll keep plugging along maybe Pete Rose will get in there I'm kind of like you I don't I don't know if he even cares. Uh, if he would be in there, but anyway. As long as the parents' people. fees don't drop, I'm sure he'd be just fine. <laughs> I know. As long as, as long as he can sell that baseball autograph for 100 bucks, I don't think he cares. No, so, so. Anyway, we cover all, uh, don't even talk about wild world sports. Well, we cover all areas, uh, politics, wrestling, uh, all same thing, basically, and sports here at Dad You Don't Work, You Wrestle Television. So, yeah, I could be your Howard Cosell, and you could be... Uh, oh, uh, Don Meredith. David yeah, there you go. Oh, I loved him. You, you, oh, Don I missed Meredith. that time, Bullet. You know what I'm saying? And this is another thing that really ticks me off as we get, we get off the air here. <laughs> that was just, like, what was that, like two people doing football. Now, like I watched the NFL today before that Cowboy game. There's eight people. Honestly, I know everybody needs a job, but there's like eight uh, analysts in the, in this in, in that room and mm -hmm. i've never seen nothing like it they, 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 they've got a starting lineup uh, in and i guess you know I, i'm glad all the guys can get a job and all that kind That's of thing they're, pay they're just getting a pay off but, but i'm thinking what the heck man they're all you, the you need eight ticket. guys <laughs> yeah. on the super yeah. ticket you know like. that's exactly right i thought we're paying 100 bucks a month for super ticket but i i, I thought man it, Memorable, it used to just be one or two guys in that in that little booth, and they'd call it. So anyway, times change, and so anyway. But we don't change here at 
Dad, you don't work, you wrestle. And hopefully we haven't been too truculent. <laughs> but it, one, one a book, lot of knowledge running around here. A, lot of, a knowledge, lot of knowledge. And a lot of knowledge. And also, too, we have a Hall of Fame book. Oh, I love that. Which is available at highspots.com. And if you want to know about what's going on with me and George, especially this weekend, follow me at yes. Manscout Manning on Twitter. Big weekend. Thank you, boy. Very good. And if you ask us if we lie, we'll just tell you. Exactly. We'll tell you right off the bat we do. Yeah. Yeah. If you ask me what, yeah, what, what, I, what, what a truck one is, I'll, I'll tell you right away. I don't know what that means. We're not going to lie about lying. We'll no. just tell you. Yeah. Bullet.